In the latest fallout connected to Jeffrey Epstein, MIT is opening an investigation into its ties to the financier and convicted sex offender. The announcement came just one day after The New Yorker revealed that MIT's media lab was attempting to conceal donations from Epstein. The school had previously said it accepted $800,000 from his foundations over a 20-year period, but according to the magazine, the director of MIT's media lab, Joichi Ito, had accepted nearly $2 million from Epstein without properly reporting it. Following the bombshell report, the university president announced Ito's resignation and described accepting Epstein's donations as a, quote, mistake of judgment. NBC News spoke to Signe Swenson, a former MIT employee who said she resigned in 2016 in part because of her discomfort about the lab's relationship with Epstein. In my first position working at MIT, part of my job was to research uh, the prospects for uh, the top rated donors or uh, potential donors to MIT and I looked at Epstein's record, found his conviction, um, but at that time he was not somebody MIT was supposedly actively cultivating so I just made note of it. But then when I started conversations with the MIT Media Lab about the position that I was applying for, it was explained to me that Joey Ito and Jeffrey Epstein had an existing relationship and that part of my job would be to help aid that relationship along. At many points and probably nearly every time his name was brought up, I expressed my disgust and discomfort, um, but it was never my choice or truly anybody's choice but Joey Ito to maintain this relationship. We were expected to keep this quiet uh, at every turn, involving as few people as possible. He was referred to by just his initials, sometimes a pseudonym, but in general we were just supposed to avoid other people learning about this. Uh, the visit where he came to the lab we were expected to keep off books as much as possible. Those with money and those with power apparently don't suffer consequences. That specifically in academia and nonprofits all over, people bend over backwards, they look the other way when people are saying or doing terrible things because the money's good, the money will come in. Signe Swenson's former boss, boss Jochi Ito, <clears throat> excuse me, previously apologized, saying, I take full responsibility for my error in judgment and said that he saw no evidence of Epstein's alleged criminal actions. Ito has not responded to our request for comment. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.